Um, I think we should probably get Old Able out because we have Golden Able here. We'll talk about the 150 people we have that want to watch us, not the Dead Able that you burned. It's back out. <laughs> that was Chicken Farm Night. That was Chicken Farm Night, the night that will live in infamy forever. <laughs> the night Able again died, but this on flyer, slow flame through his spine. Yeah. <laughs> Very hollow. Yeah. Hello YouTube, welcome back to Keeping It Neat with Derek and Nick for a new episode. Here we are. And we are here and I am Derek, certified service here. And I'm Nick, certified bartender. We told you we were coming up with something new and we also advertised it on the old FB Live. Yes, we did. We did an FB Live. We told you, why are we saying FB? <laughs> FB Live. Because <laughs> I knew it would bother you. <laughs> and we told you we were doing something new. This is a flavored Friday. We're going to start doing yeah. some of these and a um, little entryway for those of you that want to get into whiskey but don't know how and are afraid to. Um, we're going with the flavored whiskeys. And which way did we start today, Nick? What did we come in with? Well, we went in with one of the most controversial conversations that I have consistently at the bar with people. And that is the difference between Fireball and Jack Daniels Tennessee Fire. Fight me! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I guess this is controversial. I don't know. I, don't, I it's guess it's, it's a big thing among bartenders. It's very big because everyone wants to go with Fireball. Why? Because Fireball is very similar to those little red hot candies that you used to have when you were a kid. Mm -hmm. Or the red Fireball candies that they made as a kid. They were There were a couple different names for a few different brands that made them. But it tastes identical to it. But it's considered a cinnamon whiskey and... No, but we're going to get into it. So there's a difference between this one and the Jack Daniels Tennessee Fire, and I like to break this down. So we decided, hey, let's start off hot. Coming in hot, spicy, because everybody knows Fireball. Yeah. I mean, you that's like the staple for like every college. Yeah, I mean, when I, went, when I was in college, it had pretty much just come out maybe a little bit before then. Yeah. Oh, I well. think so. Or at you least it Fireball's felt that way. Fireball's been around right. forever. Anything yeah, well, that college was years ago for me. Well. College is never for me, so <laughs> that was a long time ago in way back days. I actually wonder when it act, when the year it came out because I'm pretty sure it was when I was in college, but usually they come out earlier and then you find out once you're in college. Uh, maybe, so maybe. I don't know, maybe I, I don't, I don't know what the evolution of Fireball really was. But I'm going to give one thing before we begin because we did it on FB Live. Um, Golden Abel. Here he is. Oh, we'll have just going to be like an aura and music and everything. 150 subscribers we have right now. We did it. We, we did, did it. it. We did it. And we did it because of, we want to give a special shout out to New Dram Drinker, Anthony. He's the one that actually subscribed to us to break us over the 150. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Anthony. Anthony and uh, his girlfriend, Nikki, they have that sh the, a show, New Dram Drinker. So shout out to them. They're up there. They're over in the 200s right now for their viewers. So someday we'll be there. And thanks to you, we got over 150. So, so we found out. Yes how old this is but i don't believe it <laughs> i thought it was old because i remember drinking it from way back in the day but evidently in nick's universe yeah fireball's been around forever wow. so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pour out our sample number one i'm going to put that in the closest one to us now i'm going to put the one farthest away from us wait <laughs> i'm going to wait because if i try to do it at the same time it'll be a mess there we go. i'm going to pour the fireball Oh, I already hate the smell. And I'm going to pour it in there just a tad. Not much for me. And so for what you know, it's 1984 for this. Yeah, but, you know. No, because you just heard, learned about it. It might have came out back then, but I it's, it's definitely had an increase in popularity since, like, 2015. Maybe even earlier. 2015 no. is the maybe first earlier. time people started liking no. Fireball. It was earlier than that. I'm lying. It was like maybe 2012. But it wasn't anything... I don't think it was popular before then. All right, folks. You comment down below. And yeah, when you, you discover know. Fireball, let, let us know. know. What I, do you I'm think it was popular? I'm thinking 84 sounds like a good year, but Nick says this. he just saw it in like, like last year. So, <laughs> so inside we've got the Jack Daniels Tennessee. Outside we have the Fireball. I'm going to try the Fireball first because it's the yeah, closest one to me. So, Fireball, we don't have any... Um, uh, the notes on these. No, we are it's going not. straight we're, for flavor. Flavor, that's all. We're just going to base it on flavor and what we think about it. I mean, mm -hmm. oh, syrupy, cinnamony, 
right off the bat. That's all you I got. mean, it's not bad. It's just, when you do a shot of it, it's so, and that's usually how people drink this. Rarely you will ever see somebody get fireball neat or fireball on ice. And for me, people get this as shooters. So you shoot it. Mm, oh yeah, and you start is... having too much of it because it is easy to go down. Well, it is. It's super but it's sweet. It's syrupy. It's, you don't know what you're drinking yet. Oh, That's, it's just it, it is syrupy. It's heartburn you get that. called it's, tomorrow. It's very sugary. It's super sweet. It's it tastes like the fi it literally is a fireball candy like you remember as a youth. You know, with, when they came out with them in you know, like 2012. That's the first time I ever heard about fireball. So, um. <laughs> I didn't mean the candy. I meant the liquor. Which I would still fight that. I don't believe it. Okay. I think the liquor came out at a different time. All right. If well, that was the date you were to tell me about the Fireball candy, I would agree with you. All right. Well, next up we have the <laughs> Jack Daniels Tennessee Moving Fire. Moving on, get past Nick's hatred of Everdell oh, Fireball. Please don't ever I ask me for that. All right. Well, we're never going to ask you. I've, I've never asked him. Nick, you know what I'd really like? You'd make me something with Fireball. Like, no. Die. Die. <laughs> now. But so we're off to the Tennessee Fire. Yes. Now this is totally different nose on this. Totally different nose. Hmm. You can smell the actual whiskey. Thank you. Yeah. There's so actually, that's actually the difference get... when you come to these is that the Tennessee Fire Jack Daniels has that whiskey in there that is prominent with just a Whoa. hint of the cinnamon afterwards. Okay. Having never had this before. Tell me that ain't delicious. It's very good. It's not as syrupy as sweet. And I think, honestly, this is much closer true representation of an actual fireball candy itself. You know when you get like that you. that that coating on there that you get that flavor? It, it's much closer to that. Yeah. Yeah. And, I'm and I like it a lot better. Because I'm glad you told me about this. Yeah. Um, and there'll be a special episode. I don't want to get into it too nope. much. But, nope. <laughs> but it is good that I'm glad we finally got to this because... Well, which one would you pick? Uh, right now, having tried this, I'd go with the Jack Tennessee Fire. You got it. I, w I really would. You do. You have to. It's it, if you are a even if you're not a whiskey drinker, and I have so many people out there who don't like whiskey, and I'll be like, yeah. However, get ready for this, and I will do the same testing with them, and I'll say, try this, try this, and you tell me what you think, and everyone picks the Tennessee. Yeah, you can bottle. act. You get more of the whiskey through that, and it's subtle. It's not overpowering, and yeah. what we want you to get is into whiskey. And if you wanted to get into true whiskey and be able to move along with it and then start drinking it as just the straight whiskey, I would definitely go with the Tennessee Fire because you're getting more of the whiskey flavor through with it yep. than you are with the artificial fireball flavor. Totally. So, so this is our first flavored Friday. We're out of the books. And our choice is going to be right now, we're going with Tennessee Fire. Not that, not that every week's going to be a challenge on one against another, but there are a lot of comparisons we can do, and maybe we'll do those. Um, but, ooh, I don't know. The, the I was going told yes, me, yes, yes, yeah, there will be. It'll be a competition gonna, every be a time. time. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see what we can do. But, hey, thanks for checking in with us. And, as always, here's hoping that you all find a little bit of luxury. In otherwise ordinary life. Take if you are ready and able to whiskey, be sure to drop a comment below. Hit those like and subscribe buttons and press notifications. Also, follow Keeping It Neat on Instagram. Thanks for watching, kinfolk.